Hi, I challenged myself to lose weight with a meal plan built by ChatGBT. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what I'm doing physically, my measurements at the very beginning, and then I'm going to show you exactly what I did to actually build a meal plan with ChatGBT. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the exercise that I'll be doing is I'm going to go to the gym five or six days per week. It'll be arm day, leg day, and then boxing, which is cardio, and then another arm day and another leg day. The exercises I do on both of the arm and leg days are different, but I will have a video in the future about what exercises I do. But on top of that, I'm also doing 10,000 steps every single day, no matter what, even on my rest day. So I'll have one to two rest days, again, depending on what we already said earlier. I might skip the second boxing day to recover if I'm tired or I just don't want to go. <laughs> I'll let that be optional, but 10,000 steps is not optional. I absolutely must do that. So on the rest day, however, that'll be my meal prep day. I'm going to walk to the grocery stores, buy my food, come back and cook it. For me, I'm kind of lucky actually, because I go to three grocery stores to save money. <laughs> but basically going to all three of them and coming back, it's like a perfect 10,000 steps for me. I'll have another video for just my meal prepping in general. I think that'll be useful or entertaining. So as for my measurements, I'm gonna have to read it off a list. I don't just I don't just memorize that. So my starting measurements, my chest was 45 inches, my stomach is 43 inches, my hips was 43 inches, my right thigh was 28 inches, my left thigh was 28 inches. My left bicep was 16.5 inches, my right bicep is 16 inches, and my neck was 16 inches. I'm really curious to see how that changes by the end of these 30 days. So I found out how much protein I need. Build me a 2500 calorie, 168 grams of protein meal with no protein powder. It's like a ton of snacks and meals. I said same thing, but three meals. It gave me this, and I would rather boil the eggs ahead of time and I, I want to have sweet potato every day because I think it's healthy. I don't like quinoa much, so I also enjoy white rice, so I want to have one of my meals with white rice. I convert the cups and ounces to grams. It's easier to measure. I ask for the macronutrients and the micronutrients to figure out if this is actually what I need. How many calories? It says 2,500, but I kept making changes. So I want to have boiled chicken instead of grilled chicken or whatever it said, and I'd rather have baked salmon. It's easier. I'd rather have real nuts than peanut butter, so I asked them to change this. Reduce the almond seasoning and add pumpkin seeds, because it's good to have seeds and nuts. Now I think I'd rather have a smoothie, so I asked for it to give me a snack option with fruit. Now I want to know what my options are for the fruit serving and the vegetable serving, so I ask it to give me different fruit and vegetable recommendations within those parameters so I could pick any of these fruits. I asked it to remake the entire meal plan with me with these fruit and vegetable options so I can change them as I like. I think it's good to have a daily bean intake as well for fiber. They're also pretty high in protein, so I asked them to add it in. And I noticed throughout this Thing, intermittently it's incorrect so I kind of just keep asking questions and I would tweak things that I noticed and I would cross-reference things with Google to just kind of figure out how accurate it is I found out how many calories would be in the one serving of apples that are recommended so then I said within those parameters please give me 15 fruit options because honestly I don't like apples that much so we got a whole bunch right here I really love mangoes they're cheap and I have them frozen so this is an easy one to grab it's good to have different fruits though, so it's easy to just buy a few frozen ones and then just kind of use it for different smoothies or something. I was looking online, almonds are expensive, so I asked for different nuts. I think I'll do, I think I'll go with peanuts. It's a little bit different with the nutrients, but it's pretty much close enough. I think this plan is a little high in fat, so I don't want anything to do with walnuts, for example. And then I try to compare seeds. I like pumpkin seeds, so we'll do this. So I need vitamin D too, so I asked for it to add in a cup of oat milk, which will also just make my smoothie taste better. But then the total calories are just way too high. I noticed that the egg calories were incorrect, so I corrected it myself. But these calories are still weird. I also noticed that it was giving me a full ounce serving of the nuts and seeds, which is just not necessary. I asked it to cut it in half. So what I decided to do was I would just copy each individual meal, and then I would input it 
individually and then I would copy it over to my word pad so I can like kind of put it in. So I would just do it like one meal at a time and then I'd put it over here. So like meal one breakfast is this. I would have ChatGPT break it down for me. And I just did this individually for each meal at a time and I noticed that it did significantly better after that. So what I would do is I would just take the meal that it made for me. I would say, what are the macronutrients and calories of this? This breakfast is 32 grams of protein, 47 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat, 499 calories. So I found that it handled it way easier if you were doing just one meal at a time instead of everything. It was, you just have to get really clear and specific. Again, with my snack, which would be this smoothie. So protein, carbs, fat, again, 465 calories. And we would break down the lunch again, and then the dinner. Okay, and then after I had it listed individually in my WordPad, just so I have it for reference, I then asked it to combine all of these with the individually calculated macronutrients and calories. And I ended up with about a 2,400 calorie plan, 184 grams of protein, 256 carbs, 83 grams of fat. So now from this point, I feel like this is a pretty good setup we have right here. For me personally, this is ideal. I had a meal plan from a professional like three or four years ago, and it was kind of around this ballpark actually. Maybe the fat here is a little bit higher, but aside from that, the rest is pretty much the same. But uh, I did change this around a little bit myself. Like I wanted to have no bread, I wanted to add sweet potato, I didn't want avocado. I wanted to make sure I was getting all the nutrients. I wanted to have only like three or four meals really. I spent maybe an hour doing this, and just changing like a little changing some things around as I saw fit. And then it'll be pretty easy for me to just like sub out the vegetables or the fruit or whatever for something else. So it's not the exact same thing every day. And I'm still getting a variety of colors in my diet because that's something you really want to have for different nutritional value. The final calories of the meal plan was like 2,400 instead of 2,500. Personally, I think that's fine because I actually like to have pickled foods with each meal. They're pretty low calories, but if you have that with each meal, it'll be basically 100 calories anyway. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.